myself Monica, my batchmates are Sindhu and Nancy. We are doing me in Tripoli in Mailtech High Tech Dr. Nagaraj in Sakuntala Engineering College. And our project title is Multi Converter Unified Power Quality. Of our project is to improve the electrical power quality in distribution systems. Use of UPQC, um, by, with the use of UPQC to regulate the load voltage against disturbances. Uh, the main abstract is that this project presents a new unified power quality conditioning system capable of simultaneous compensation for voltage and current in multibus. Um, the system is applied to adjacent feeders to compensate the supply voltage and load current imperfection on the main feeder. The uh, uh, main description of our project is uh, in our system one shunt voltage source uh, converter and two or more series voltage source converter exist. The system can be applied to adjacent feeders to compensate for supply voltage and load current imperfections on the main feeder. Because of this proposed configuration, power will be uh, transferred from one feeder to adjacent feeder uh, to compensate the sag swell and interruptions. Existing system. The usage of unified power flow control, which is used to control the power flow in multi lines or a, uh, or a sub network. Mm, high amount of current needed to boost the bus voltage in the existing unified power flow control method has a, and also it has low dynamic performance because the DC link capacitor voltage is not regulated. Our proposed system includes extended, includes adding a series voltage source converter in adjacent feeder, simultaneous compensation of voltage and current imperfection in both feeders, sharing power compensation capabilities between two adjacent feeders which are not connected, capable of compensating interruptions without the need for the battery storage system and consequently without storage capacity limitations. Um, our system block diagram. A system block diagram includes two generating stations, uh, both are connected to uh, a Two, load, two different loads, one is non-linear load and another one is linear load and uh, the, sub, the voltage will be given to our system in the, with the help of transformers and um, during normal condition our system includes a capacitor and it will get discharged and during abnormal condition with the use of driver unit and pick controller we will get a pulse and a pulse generated and it will trigger the capacitor to discharge the particular amount of power we need. A uh, circuit diagram uh, for project. Mm, a circuit diagram includes a uh, generating station and the load of non-linear and another load of linear. A system is introduced in between this. Um, we, uh, we introduced three VSEs OER, two are seriously connected and one is shuntly connected and uh, capacitor in between them. Uh, this is what the uh, VSC circuit diagram. Uh, hereby, uh, we have introduced a capacitor and inductor for uh, LC filter, filter circuit. Well, thereby, we are eliminating our harmonics and um, and MOSFET is used here for our switching purposes. Uh, the tools and software uh, software we have used are um, MATLABs and Simulink software for uh, simulation and MPLAB arcade piece spice for hardware simulation. Mm, this is what our simulation diagram, uh, uh, this is what the normal uh, transmission line circuit, mm, we have designed it with a, a resistive load, mm, during normal power supply uh, there will be a lag in voltage and the lag in voltage will be shown like this uh, which includes x axis as time and, in, and y axis as voltage and current, mm, the fault voltage is increased and thereby uh, there is a decrease in current, mm, this is our introduced uh, transmission line circuit diagram uh, we kept our uh, transmission line, uh, we kept our system in between these two transmission lines and uh, the input voltage which is the fault voltage is included in our system and the output voltage will be regulated which is uh, which is uh, out of pow uh, power quality related problems this is what the dc capacitor uh, dc capacitor voltage which we are fitting for compensating our uh, system hardware simulation mm, the co main components we include in our hard su hardware simulation are mosfet irf 840 capacitor 1000 microfarad in, uh, inductor 1 amps and transformers of uh, 24 volt 24 volt uh, 12 volt and resistive load 47 ohm inductive load for 150 watt con controller uh, pick 16f 877a driver unit of ttl um, this is hardware circuit diagram. Mm. This is our project kit. Here we have uh, two transformers. One is of 24 volt and another one is of 12 volt. Mm. Uh, 
the supply will be given to this 24 volt and 12 volt uh, transformers and this will be introduced to our um, uh, another one transformer this is one load one load system and another one is this load this is what one, first feeder which includes resistive load and and uh, the, uh, here we have we, uh, we didn't introduce uh, but we are using in, uh, inductive load of one arm sewing machine mm, during normal condition the power will be normal and uh, the capacitor will get charged this capacitor will get charged for a particular amount and during abnormal condition and during abnormal condition uh, when when there is a lag in voltage occurs in this system in this system um, it will be sensed and uh, sensed with, uh, with this micro pick controller and it will get compared with the voltage which it, which it has as reference and the reference voltage uh, reference voltage when comparing it with reference voltage um, if there is any positive or negative error occurs and it will be uh, sensed by the driver unit and a pulse will be generated from this pick controller and the driver unit will amplify it and the TTL logic will amplify it and also it will be given as a triggered pulse to this uh, system and thereby uh, the pulse which triggered will uh, will let the MOSFET to make the uh, capacitor to discharge um, and thereby compensating the load which, which it includes. So, uh, for a resistive load of 4.6, 4 uh, with the introduction of, of our system, we will get an output of 5.7.